Hey guys, and welcome back to My Lilac Hill. Today is Friday, April 27th, and I just got done kind of straightening up in the kitchen and getting the floors clean. And the next thing on my to-do list is starting seeds for the 2020 season. But before I do that, I wanna show you something outside. So let's go. So this is what we've gotten done on the raised beds so far. As I've mentioned in some of my previous videos, we are leasing this house, so we cannot have an in-ground garden. So I'm just doing a couple of raised beds so that I can still garden and do kind of what I can in our current situation. So these are eight foot long by three foot wide, and they're gonna be joined by a work table as well as a cucumber trellis starting from this side, arching up over to this side. And we just have to get the material to do the bottoms. And once we get that, we should be able to finish these up pretty quickly. Um, but it is overcast today, so I don't know how much we'll get done today. But when we do finish them, I'll make sure that we show you kind of what they look like. Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to start my seeds. And I just kind of wanted to show you um, how I'm doing it. I am by no means an expert on starting seeds. I've done it twice in my life. Um, so if you have any tips or tricks for me, definitely leave them in the comment section below. But I'm just going to show you how I do it. And um, this is just a seed starting kit that I picked up from Haas uh, Garden Tools. You don't need anything like this. You can start seeds in pretty much anything. But the thing I really like about this is that it has the tray, which allows you to bottom water. Um, it's got 48 cells and then I added a couple of little trays that I already had and then it also has the clear top kind of giving it like a greenhouse effect type thing and normally I would start seeds under grow lights but I don't have any um, so I'm just going to show you what I'm trying this year. I originally was not going to start seeds this year um, just because I have a newborn and I didn't want to add anything else to my plate. But then this global pandemic happened and I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get to a nursery to get plants to transplant into my raised beds. So I went ahead and ordered a few seeds from Haas Garden Tools and I'm just going to start some for me and for my family. So what I did is I took a bag of ProMix that I also got from Haas Tools, which Haas Tools has not sponsored this video in any ways. I just really like them and um, everything I ordered from them I got very quickly within a couple of days even with this pandemic going on so that was awesome definitely check them out I'll try to put a link to their website in the description box below but anyways I just took that bag of pro mix in a five gallon bucket and I pre moistened it you definitely want to pre moisten your soil um, or your grow mix or whatever media that you're using it doesn't have to be pro mix um, but that's what I like so that's what I got and I'm just going to start filling these trays up and then I will show you what I do after that. So I have filled this tray with the grow mix and gone through and taken my finger and just poked a hole in each of the cells and I'm going to put one seed in every one of those holes and I'm going to start with the, I don't know if you can see that, but the Bella Rosa tomato from Haas and on the back of the seed packet it gives you um, some details about it and there's actually 50 seeds in here and they're pelleted seeds which They've got a little bit of a coating around them to make them easier um, to plant because the seeds for tomatoes are so small. So pelleted is always a plus when you're, okay, sorry about that, my phone died. Um, but what I was saying was pelleted seeds are always a plus because they're so much easier um, to plant with that coating around it on those small seeds. So what you're gonna do, and I'll move this so you can see just a little bit better 
you're just going to take one seed and you're going to drop it in. And then I'll just kind of show you, I'm not going to plant all of them right now, but then you'll just take some dirt and fill back over those. And then you'll want to make sure that you label them. I use these and I will try to um, put a link in the description below, um, but they're just easy to see with the bright color and they're smaller um, than what Haas sends, which those would work just fine and I actually really like using those in the garden bed itself, um, but for seed starting I prefer a smaller tag. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of these planted and I will come back when I get done. So this is just something that I actually saw Jess at Roots and Refuge Farm do about a year ago. She took a bag of potting mix and used it kind of as a lettuce planter, put it in a Tupperware, and that's a quick way to speed up harvest on lettuce. So I went ahead and tried it and we'll see how it works. So my seeds are done and I only had one kit from Haas, so I kind of made my own out of Tupperware containers and I drilled holes in the top. Well, Mike drilled holes in the top. And these will also allow for bottom watering. And I plan on putting them out on the raised bed, but they don't have their bottoms yet. So until then, they're just gonna hang out on the patio. Well, I'm done with all of my seeds starting and I've got dinner on the stove back there. And so I thought I would just do a quick sign off uh, before we wind down for the evening, we're going to watch a movie together and just kind of relax. Um, but like I said, if you have any tips or tricks on seed starting, be sure to drop a comment and let me know what works best for you and what you might have changed um, if you were doing this. And then if you have any questions, drop those below too. I'm happy to answer those. Um, and I'll post more videos as the seeds grow and kind of give you progress updates on them as well. Um, but for right now, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. And if you like what you see, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. And until next time, stay chill.